Is Vosh vegan? I'm I'm vegan ethics pilled. Oh. I'm vegan. I'm, listen, I'm pro veganism. I eat meat, but I would unironically support a ban on meat eating in this country. So today I thought of the idea to make a video about non-vegan leftists because I haven't really done this before, particularly Vosh. However, my graphics really suck because my laptop broke. Long story, but I cannot buy a new one that is touchscreen because I'm poor. Um, so if you're wondering, no, I did not make these on Instagram using the draw feature <laughs> on my phone. I definitely didn't do that, but I'm I made these <laughs> because I still need um graphics because people their attention span sucks. But anyway, back to Vosh. I'm sorry. I would like to preface this with saying that I have been a Vosh fan for a year and a half. So this isn't a hate video. It's just a criticism of Vosh not being vegan despite admitting that vegans are right. Which isn't really normal for non-vegan leftists who typically have strong cognitive dissonance which causes them to try to make veganism seem like a right-wing anti-human rights movement. When it is actually very progressive being against the oppression of a certain group and wanting to end a certain type of discrimination. And it is a movement fighting for the rights of the oppressed group. Animal rights is obviously progressive. Veganism means being against animal oppression and speciesism. So you would think people who support human rights and are against human discrimination would support animal rights and be against animal discrimination. But yet, just like most non-vegans, non-vegan leftists don't go vegan and instead struggle in their cognitive dissonance. In order to ease their cognitive dissonance, non-vegan leftists try to make vegans and veganism look like a right-wing thing. They do this by claiming that vegans are classist, ableist, and racist for being against animal abuse and advocating that everyone- not buy or use animal products as much as literally possible. Also, yeah, rice and beans are so expensive, man. They also have the argument that paying for animals to be murdered is okay because there's no ethical consumption under capitalism, which I have addressed multiple times, including in a video. Now, when Vosh did his debate on veganism, arguing obviously in favor of justifying animal abuse, he did use that argument, um, but since then he has started just all out saying that vegans are right and he supports veganism he just eats animal products himself well no you have to take the chat approach was that it's wrong to eat meat in general sometimes that's the only thing that you can do uh the true chad approach would be not only believing that it's wrong in general but actually not participating in it yeah well, i just can't can't the chad meat eaters be like yeah, it is bad to kill animals, to eat them for personal pleasure, but I do it anyway. Like, just just live it up. How is, the, how is, that, how is that chat? Like, that's cowardly, isn't it? If you're so offended over it, go vegan, okay? <laughs> eating pigs is normal. Least morally dumbfounded chatter right now. Uh, but eating pigs is normal and eating dogs isn't. <laughs> Least morally dumbfounded chatter. I eat meat, but I would unironically support a ban on meat eating in this country. If I had the ability to do so, I would legitimately end the meat industry. I would make it criminal to participate in it to any extent. I, I mean, except for like fake meat and maybe lab grown meat. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lab grown meat is fine. That's not unethical. So, so. And then Vosh tweeted this yesterday, which uh, don't even get me started on on that. But uh, there's my response. And then Vosh <laughs> responded to someone with the the really. <laughs> great take that the most important thing is a product of animal abuse um baby stealing and murder i did however see this tweet which was obviously in response to vosh <laughs> and it was great and then vosh had a really really great take <laughs> in response to that person um definitely not horrible <laughs> at all and it's weird because he literally wasn't joking like the reason he pays for animal abuse um is literally taste but i so yeah the takeaway here is just that vosh needs to go vegan and he's obviously thinking about it a lot there's a lot of vegan leftists in his community that obviously talk about it a lot so much so that i believe he banned discussions on veganism in his discord server but yeah it just annoys me because i am a fan of vosh's content and i have watched a lot of his videos over the year and a half i've been a fan um 
And it's just really annoying seeing people be against uh, oppression, like, until it tastes nice and speciesism and it's the norm. And then, you know, then they'll pay for it happily, especially since what's happening to animals and animal agriculture is the biggest moral atrocity of our time. So yeah, I'm still a fan of Vosh's content, but it's really frustrating just watching videos about, you know, anti-capitalism and for human rights and against all these different forms of human oppression but the people who are making the videos support a moral atrocity and uphold speciesism and just do it because trivial sensory pleasure and even if you gave up all sensory pleasure from eating food by going vegan you'd still be morally obligated to be vegan but on top of that our food literally tastes just as good. So it's like countless animals are being abused, killed, enslaved, and murdered en masse just for a specific taste and slight convenience. So it's great Vosh doesn't make me feel gaslit by trying to argue that it's okay to do these things to animals because vegans are annoying or lions do it too. But in some ways, it's actually worse that Vosh knows how morally insidious the meat, dairy, and egg industries are, yet still contributes to it because the products taste nice. It's good he's saying very pro-vegan things to so many people, but at the same time, it's really bad to just be like, vegans are right, it's wrong to force all these things onto animals and then go and pay for it yourself. And yeah, that's what Vegan Gaze said. It's not very Chad to just be like, vegans are right, it's wrong to do these things to animals, but it tastes kind of nice, so I'm never going to stop. That's not being a Chad. <laughs> that's being a coward and a selfish piece of shit. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and here's a bonus tweet on non-vegan leftists.